Sons RC come back at you with another bash video. Now we're at this new construction site. I've never bashed here before. It could be kind of treacherous, it could be kind of exciting. It's rather big, it's right in the middle of town and uh, got some long, long stretched out areas there. We got the Mojave EXB running 1580 kV, 20 foot, 25 tooth pinion. And uh, we're running 100C packs right now in there, so she's gonna be getting on up pretty good. And you know with the Mojave, you gotta be having those M2C Sherlock nuts on there with, with the extended hexes on there. Great bit of kit from M2C Racing. Stops those lugs from loosening up. Oh, yeah. Bees, baby. Can they deal with that? Let's see about this.
truck, Jackson. So um, I should probably take it easy, right? Go kind of slow. Just hit the jumps a little bit, right? Do you think Daddy's gonna take it easy? No, that's not how we do it, right? We're gonna go full speed off the biggest thing we can find, right? That's how we do it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was so crazy. That truck is nuts. Uh oh, watch out. She's just floating over stuff. That would have been death. I just missed that manhole cover. body mount completely let go on the back so we're just gonna run it as it is and it's just gonna look a little floppy but oh well I'm tough baby I got some in the car but I really don't feel like stopping when you're in the middle of paradise and putting on another body mount so is the Arma Mojave EXB the toughest Arma out of the box <laughs> that's the question 
I think this video definitely proves the case, or at least puts the case forward, that that can definitely be said, in my opinion, a resounding yes. Now, the Armor Crate and EXP, great rig, great truck, super tough out the box. I'd say the Mojave has it in terms of durability. Some of the reasons why I believe that is the case. Well, if you look at the towers, the way it's protected with the uh, mounts on the front and the back of the towers, the absorption from the top and the front and the back of the trucks, there's really just a lot of protection from the bulkheads, from all sorts of impacts, the nerve bars on the side of the truck. It's really built to take a pounding. There's a lot of plastic reinforcement and shock absorption from all different angles on the truck so that it's really even hard to get to the point where the bulkheads could get damaged from a really hard impact. That is one of the places where on the Arma EXB Creighton, you can take a rear impact and possibly jolt the tower and potentially break the bulkhead. So that is one of the areas that this truck has up on it. And it also has the front and rear bumpers that kind of reinforce that. But both trucks are outstanding trucks. Uh, I would just say the Mojave is a little bit tougher out of the box and really doesn't need much of an improvement in terms of upgrades out the box. Now, if you're going super sending, M2C got your back. There's a lot of options there, but this truck out the box is just a super great truck. Had a lot of fun with it. Hey, watch the rest of this video. There's a couple great hits that we got here. And, uh, track, hey, like, comment, subscribe, appreciate y'all. Let's go. It's okay for now, but it ain't gonna be for long. <laughs> he just fell completely off. <laughs> it was only holding on by the front. All right, after report of the Arma Mojave EXB, uh, just did awesome. Ran two packs through two different construction sites, and I uh, just had two tiny breakages. Uh, a little bit of frustrating ones, but uh, you know, just simple ones where you know the body mounts just break free eventually. Um, even got the foam under there, and it's still breaking. I think I'm gonna take uh, Thomas P uh, from TP Parts Extremes advice and throw the Outcast body supports on there and see if I can't stop this from breaking. Because uh, that'll ruin your bash or at least slow you down. It's it's not an expensive fix, but it's just kind of annoying. And um, also, a couple times during the bash, um, the shocks compressed too much and the dog bone popped out of there. You can kind of see that that one right there is actually popped out of there. That probably happened about five times. So if I just put like a piece of silicone um, tubing, like RC Dude 81 mentioned, uh, down in the bottom there, it stops the shock from compressing all the way up in there. So I'm going to try that out. So that way I don't, uh, you know, on a top high speed topple, pop those dog bones out again. Uh, just keep going. But uh, hey, no real breakages besides the body mounts, which is really nothing. This Mojave EXB from Arma is just a beast. I love this truck. It's so much fun. Um, just takes a pounding. Hey, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.